Welcome to the Apple Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today is June 1st, 2024, and we have a lot to cover in the world of Apple technology, software, and devices. Links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. In a groundbreaking move, Apple and OpenAI have recently signed a deal to integrate OpenAI's generative AI technology into Apple's software. This partnership could potentially be worth billions of dollars for the startup. However, the deal wasn't without its internal conflicts. Apple's head of machine learning, John Gianandrea, opposed the inclusion of large language model-driven chatbots in Apple's products. Despite this, Apple has been leveraging OpenAI's API to create proofs of concept, such as an enhanced version of Siri capable of responding to a broader range of questions. The deal is seen as a significant win for OpenAI CEO Sam Altman, who has been working to solidify his position within the company. There are also ongoing discussions within OpenAI about possibly converting the organization's structure to a traditional for-profit corporation, or a B Corp. This change could provide a middle ground between OpenAI's current structure and that of a full for-profit corporation. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella has expressed concerns about the impact of the Apple deal on OpenAI's existing relationship with Microsoft. Microsoft has a close relationship with OpenAI, and Nadella is worried about how this new partnership might affect Microsoft's product ambitions and server demand. Microsoft has invested $13 billion in OpenAI and is now requesting a cut from OpenAI's profits from the Apple partnership. Interestingly, Apple was also considering a deal with Google, but ultimately chose OpenAI. This decision has added another layer of complexity to the tech giant's relationships. Apple is set to showcase its advancements in AI technology soon, including integrating OpenAI's technology into Siri to make it smarter. In another fascinating development, a recent paper titled Clip Meets Model Zoo Experts, Pseudo-Supervision for Visual Enhancement, discusses enhancing the contrastive language image pre-training Clip method. The authors incorporated task-specific vision models from model zoos to improve CLIP's visual representations. By using open-source task-specific vision models to generate pseudo-labels for an uncurated image text dataset, they trained CLIP models on these pseudo-labels, in addition to contrastive training on image and text pairs. This approach led to significant improvements of up to 16.3% across various vision tasks, like segmentation, detection, depth estimation, and surface normal estimation. These enhancements were achieved without compromising CLIP's existing capabilities, including its proficiency in promptable zero-shot classification. The paper has been accepted at the UNIREPS workshop in NEUREPS 2023 and highlights the limitations of CLIP in tasks involving object localization, pixel-level understanding of images, and 3D perception. That's all for today's episode of the Apple Daily News. We hope you found these stories as intriguing as we did. Don't forget to check the episode notes for links to all the stories we covered. Join us again tomorrow for more updates on everything Apple. Have a great day.